Boys, I am so close. Look at this. What does this say on your screen right now? Collect all teams, one out of two. Collect all NL, two out of three. Collect all NL West, four out of five. The one constant in this whole entire equation is the Los Angeles Dodgers. The only card remaining in this entire game that I need is Clayton Kershaw. And boys, I made a call today. Some of you might disagree with it. Some of you might not think it's very smart, but I don't care. I'm getting this Kershaw and finishing these friggin' collections. What I did is I quick sold some diamonds. Now, of course I didn't quick sell guys like Mike Trout or Bryce Harper or Vita Blue or Dawson. I didn't sell any of the great guys like that. I was kind of strategic with who I quick sold. First of all, I used pretty much all of my tickets to get the cheapest diamonds off the ticket counter and I quick sold those for 5,000 stubs each. I could still technically do it. I would have two tickets remaining so I could quick sell AJ Pollock or uh, Jake Odorizzi. Actually, I could quick sell him for more. He's only 1,400 so I could still get even more stubs out of this. So I quick sold a bunch of ticket counter guys. Then I went to the inventory. This is where it gets crazy. I started quick selling some live series guys but i didn't just quick sell any random live series player i tried to keep a formula i quick sold 97 chris sale i have the impact veteran 99 chris sale i quick sold kimbrel because he blows i quick sold donaldson because i have the 99 i quick sold jose ramirez i don't know why i quick sold mike psych i quick sold george springer because i completed his program i was thinking about quick selling stanton because i have the 93 and i could get the 95 but I just kept him, just because. I quick sold the Live Series Max Scherzer. There's two other 95 Max Scherzers. Don't need this one. I quick sold Grinky, because I can complete the Dodgers epic and get a 95 Grinky. I quick sold Blackman, because I have the show's finest Blackman. And I quick sold a couple random flashbacks here and there, just guys that I literally just never use. So overall, I got rid of the diamonds that I know for sure I'm never gonna use. And overall, it brought me up to 136,000 stubs. Now, Kershaw is currently going for like 140K. Here he is, 140 with a 123 sell now, and uh, I could just buy him, but uh, my boy Elijah tweeted at me. He said, you still looking for a Kershaw? We started talking, we came to an agreement, and he is going to sell me the 99 Clayton Kershaw. So big shout out to Elijah, my man. Let's get this transaction underway. He said, let me know when you put the order up. I said, all right, there's a buy up there for 123.100. I'll go 127? He said, yeah, here we go, boys. I'm going to put up my order right now. 127,000 for Clayton Kershaw. Here we go. Finalize the order. Let me tell Elijah it's up. It's up. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. One of your orders was completed. Yes. Yes. We did it. Oh my god, guys, we got Kershaw, and that means we can complete the entire MLB collection. <laughs> Yo, Elijah's like, you got it, right? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna troll him for a second. I want to see what he says after this. Ah, he said don't play. Elijah, you smart. You smart. All right, so now let's go ahead and actually complete the mission and see our rewards. So we got to take this one step at a time. Collect all Dodgers. Let's finish this up right here. There it is. 40 out of 40. Clayton Kershaw is now on the squad. Let's go ahead and advance this, and we will receive our 94 overall Ernie, or I'm sorry, I was about to say Ernie Banks. Jackie Robinson. I don't think Ernie Banks ever played for the Dodgers Cougs. 10,000 XP, 500 stubs, 100 tickets. Add a baby. There we go. 94 Jackie. I mean, I don't think I'll ever use this 94 Jackie. Uh, he's The 99 is pretty much better in every way. He does have left field as his primary position. This is an outfield card, which is a little bit different. So maybe we'll give him a debut. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to uh, see a debut from him. And now that means we can complete the National League West. 25,000 XP, 1,250 stubs, one Marichal as the reward, 97 overall. Here's a look at this guy, 97 overall, four seam curveball changeup slider screwball, 83, 80 per nine, 68, 
80 velo and break. Not very impressive attributes, if I do say so myself. Never used this car. Never seen him in action. But from the numbers, he doesn't look all that intriguing. But either way, he's in my inventory now. We're almost there, guys. Next up, complete the entire National League collection. And we get 97. Ernie friggin' Banks. Let's go. Another 1,250 stubs. Another 10,000 XP. Or 25,000 XP, excuse me. 97 Ernie, baby. I'm actually really excited about this card. An 87, 97 contact, 99, 94 power, 86 vision. Good fielding, decent speed at 55. I'll have to see how I like him over the 99 Jimmy Rollins or the 99 Cow. We'll definitely give him a debut and try him out. Uh, I'm curious to see how well I'm going to do with this card because I don't really think I've used Ernie Banks too much in this game. I think I've used this card in BR a couple times. Actually, I've played 35 games with him. I'm hitting 309. So that's not bad at all. Five home runs in, in 60 or 55 at-bats. One home run every 11 at-bats. So, you know, I could probably do better. But uh, I know Pitching Rebel uses this card as a starting shortstop. So we'll see how I do with him. And then, guys, of course, complete the entire MLB collection. And we are rewarded with 99 overall. Ted Williams, 50,000 XP, 2,000 stubs, 250 tickets. And boys, am I excited to redeem that. This has been something I've been wanting to do for so long. I've really wanted to complete all the MLB for the collection. I didn't do it in MLB 16. I really wanted to do it this year. It may have taken me till the end of January, but you know what? At the end of the day, we did it. Look at this card. 99 contact, 9987 power with 99 vision and 99 discipline. The only better pure hitting card in this game is Pepe Alizar, attributes wise. Not saying he's the best card in the game, of course not. But as far as a hitter standpoint, look, this is his age 22 season. The fielding is whatever. If you're going to use this guy, you're definitely putting him in a corner spot. But man, I don't even care. You know Ted Williams is getting a debut at some point, so... Be on the lookout. One more thing, just because I, I don't know why I do this. I've already completed this program, but uh, collect all teams. I'll go ahead and complete that as well. Oh, I forgot to complete the uh, Springer mission too. So we finally have finished all the collections. The next goal, I think, is complete all the programs. Then we're going to complete all the team epics. And once I'm done with that, I'm pretty much done grinding against the CPU. Like, I still want to get everything. But uh, for the most part, I'm pretty much done. This was really exciting personally for me. This is something I've wanted to do since the game came out. So I'm excited that I finally got it done. It may not seem like a big deal. You guys may disagree with some of the means I went through to actually get this collection done. But at the end of the day, I did it. My decision. Got my card. I am so happy. All MLB collections completed. Shout out to Elijah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Drop a thumbs up on it if you did enjoy it. More thumbs up the quicker the Ted Williams, Ernie Banks, and all those other cards debuts will come. So show it some love, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.